His Majesty Sultan Qaboos issues a royal decree approving organizational structure of the Secretariat General of Council of Ministers. Greetings and best wishes of the leadership of Malta and His Majesty Sultan Qaboos are conveyed by His Excellency the Foreign Minister. The Tender Board awards the project of doubling Taka Murvat Road in the Governorate of Lothar. And the Sultanate and Malta signed an agreement for mutual exemption for visa official passport holders and a memorandum of understanding to regulate political consultations. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos issued Royal Decree No. 31 over 2014 approves organizational structure of the Secretariat General of the Council of Ministers. Article 1 approves organizational structure of the Secretariat General of the Council of Ministers according to that mentioned in the attached appendix. Article 2 cancels Royal Decree No. 85 over 88 and all that contradicts provisions of this decree. Article 3, this decree shall be published in the official gazette and shall come into effect from the date of issue. Greetings and best wishes of the leadership of Malta and His Majesty Sultan Qaboos were conveyed by His Excellency George Vela, Foreign Minister of Malta, when His Highness Al Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Sayyid, Deputy Prime Minister for the Council of Ministers, received in his cabinet today His Excellency the Minister who expressed desire of his country to strengthen aspects of existing cooperation between the two countries to cover wider fields, reiterating appreciation of the leadership and the government of Malta to the balanced policy of the Sultanate in its international relations. During meeting talks conveyed ways of stop stepping up cooperation in economic, educational and tourism fields and investment exchange between the two countries. They also reviewed a number of issues and developments in the regional and international arenas. The meeting was attended by His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Hamad bin Hamoud al Saidi, Secretary General of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. His Excellency Sayyid Khalid bin Hilal bin Saud al Saidi, Minister of the One of Royal Court, discussed with His Excellency George Valer, Foreign Minister of Malta, good bilateral relations between the Sultanate and Malta and ways of enhancing them in various aspects. They also covered issues of common concern for the interest of both people of the Sultanate and Malta. An agreement for mutual exemption of a visa for official passport holders between the governments of the Sultanate and Malta and a memorandum of understanding to regulate political consultation between the two foreign ministries were signed. From Omani's side, they were signed by His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Hamad bin Hamoud al Saidi, Secretary General of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and from the Maltese side by His Excellency George Veller, Foreign Minister. Prior to the signing, talks between the two sides were held to discuss in strengthening of cooperation in diplomatic, economic and cultural fields. They also exchanged points of view on a number of regional and international issues and development of common concern to both countries. The Tender Board awarded the project of doubling Taka Mirbat Road in the Governorate of Dhufar worth more than 40 million Omani rials. The doubling of the road will contribute in raising up level of a traffic safety and will enhance tourism activity at the area it links between the two wilayas and beyond, especially at Kharif season, during which the governorate witnesses an increase of traffic movement. The 35-kilometer road will have a number of bridges and underpasses. The tender board in its today's meeting, which was presided over by His Excellency Dr. Rashid bin Asafi al Kharabi, chairman of the board, awarded. Additional works of the construction project of Bremi Sports Complex and supply of maintenance services for the dialysis device, which are available in various health institutions in the Sultanate. 
Other projects awarded were a contract with Majan Satellite Channel to produce television program Urban and Rural Days for the Ministry of Endowments and Religious Affairs, renew the contract of satellite space for Sultanate of Oman Television HD transmission with Egyptian satellite industrial company NileSat for the public authority of radio and television. Additional works for the construction project of Recharge a Dam on the Wadi of Amti in the Wilaya of Izqi in the government of Dakhliya. Additional works to provide services of nutrition, cleaning and pest control for various hospital and health complexes of the Ministry of Health and additional works for consultancy services to develop systems of operation control and monitoring SCADA for water utilities. A number of honorable judges performed legal oath before Honorable Shah Dr. Ishaq bin Ahmed Al Busaidi, Chairman of the Administrative Affairs Council for Judiciary, Chairman of the Supreme Court, and Deputy Chairman of Supreme Judiciary Council in his office at the Supreme Court. There were 27 judges and had received concentrated courses and practice of profession of judiciary. They also completed a period of theoretical practical preparation and training as assistant judges, which enabled them to assume work in judiciary field in accordance with the provisions of law of judiciary authority, starting with registering the case and and ending rendering the verdict and engaging the case into implementation. Still to come in our news bulletin. Salala Tourism Festival Organizing Committee reveals details on activities of Salala Tourism Festival 2014. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. Illiteracy in the Sultanate has decreased to 9% by the end of 2013 compared to 15% in 2010 according to estimations by National Center for Statistics and Information and a report of human development by United Nations Development Program which also mentioned stability of illiteracy in the Arab world at 25% and internationally at 18% by end of 2011. The Royal Navy of Oman RNO held a reception ceremony in Portsmouth City in the United Kingdom for Al Rasikh vessel, which represents the last ship of Al Kharif project that concluded between the Sultanate and the shipbuilding company under the auspices of His Excellency Sheikh Abdulaziz bin Abdullah Al Hinai, Sultan's ambassador to the UK. The ceremony started by playing royal anthems of both the Sultanate and Britain. Then Sultanate's flag along with the Royal Navy of Oman's flag were hoisted on board of Al Rasikh ship after the ship guest and the attendees affiliates of the Royal Navy of Oman toured the facilities of the ship and were briefed on modern system and equipment of the vessel. Finally, the Omani side and the shipbuilding company signed the document related to receiving the ship. Ways to apply engineering dumps, transform plants and burning as ideal solution for existing dumps as per latest global systems were the centre of discussion of the meeting of municipal council in the government of Musandam. 
The meeting was chaired by His Excellency Sayyid Khalifa bin Al Madas Al Bisaidi, Governor of Musantim. The presentation was met by Oman Environment Services, holding company on modern methods to get rid of wasters at dump areas in its first project in the governorate. The meeting also included a field visit to Dabba's dump area to find solutions for its current problems. More than 2 million Omani rials were the financial losses during the last two years caused by public utilities vandalism. This was revealed by a seminar under the theme Let Us Preserve Oman held in the Wilaya of Nizwa in the government of Dakhliya. The seminar discussed mechanisms followed for the sale of scrap and approved health regulations and procedures. Some 23 public and private bodies take part in the seminar. It discusses cooperation among them to raise awareness on vandalism in the community. It also touched upon some vandalism practices and their effects on some public utilities such as electricity, water, wastewater, telecommunications and public parks. His Excellency Sheikh Salim bin Ufayt Shanfari, head of the Far Municipality and chairman of Salala Tourism Festival Organizing Committee, during a press conference announced that the Salala Tourism Festival will be launched on the second day of Eid al Fitr under the theme Love for Oman Gathers Us. Salala was considered the best Arab tourism destination for the year 2013, where the number of visitors reached more than 433,000. The organizing committee of the festival aims to develop various facilities and to review the activities program so as to make this year's festival even more exciting. Now for the general weather forecast, clear to partly cloudy skies will prevail over the southernate. Winds will be southerly to southwesterly light to moderate. Seas along the southeastern coast will be moderate to rough with a maximum wave height of 2 meters, while it will be slight to moderate along the rest of the coast with a maximum wave height of 1.25 meters. This is the South of Fermont Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos issues a royal decree approving organizational structure of the Secretariat General of the Council of Ministers. <laughs> Greetings and best wishes of the leadership of Malta to His Majesty Sultan Qaboos are conveyed by His Excellency the Foreign Minister. <laughs> The Tender Board awards the project of a doubling Taka Mirbat Road in the Governorate of Dhofar. And the Sultanate and Malta sign an agreement for mutual exemption of a visa for official passport holders and a memorandum of understanding to regulate political cons consultations.
With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the studio and the newsroom, it's good night.